Obama? No, let's talk. Let's talk about the Florida primaries. Now, we've had oh, okay. during the last week we have interviewed Newt Gingrich, we have interviewed Rick Santorum, we have interviewed Mitt Romney, and Ron Paul declined an interview with us. However, we asked those three individuals all the same questions, all the same questions, and I'm going to ask you right now. Did you get the answers that you expected? No. What were the answers? Well, <laughs> I think Digital Dave has come unprepared as usual. What were the answers? I mean, we got, we did the show. They got the answers. I felt that the answers they gave us was basically the same rhetoric that they've done during the debates. That's where I'm coming from. Well, what do you expect? Are you expecting something different? I thought you meant that you personally... Uh, well, remember, we, we did. They, they called into the show, and we interviewed them. All right. All right. I know. I get you now. Hey, the thing is with this, look, you're looking for a magic Christian. There is no such thing in the GOP. So forget about it. Uh, dig the potatoes out of yours, folks, and get over it. It isn't there. You won't get the viable candidate that you're looking for. It's a done deal. Now, except for, uh, unless Obama does something stupid in the next few months, he is a shoe in and we are headed for the gulags because this, oh, this president, this president, let me, let me, let me break it down for you. This president has taken what his Democratic predecessor fixed a little, and he has taken it and joined it to the unwinding of the Republicans, and he's unwound it even more. Now we are spiraling down on a shoestring into the abyss, well, and Obama is leading us into the flames. Well, I, I just want to uh, interject and kind of go back to the uh, primaries because I, I know anytime we talk primaries or elections, uh, it just gives you the ammunition to uh, bash our president. And I'm not saying he's done a whole lot not to be bashed. But, however, you always seem to go down that route. Now, but it, it's amazing. I just saw a good commercial down here. And you know when you see Newt Gingrich, uh, he's always talking about Ronald Reagan this and Ronald Reagan that. And... And it was a, a commercial that says, oh yeah, Newt Gingrich talks as if he was Ronald Reagan's vice president. And they said, the only mention ever in Ronald Reagan's diaries of Newt Gingrich was one time, he mentioned his name one time, and I'm not sure what the policy was. Uh, it might have been health reform or whatever, but he rejected it and said it was a very bad idea. Now, the way Newt Gingrich carries on, you would think, that he was a vice president to Ronald Reagan. And also, uh, being down here, it's amazing too. You see all these commercials, and now you're even, we're even getting voicemails. So, I mean, these individuals are slinging in the mud, and they're spending the money down here in Florida to get these delegates. And also, uh, just to mention a little bit, I, I was out... These guys, as far as these guys are concerned... Uh, Ingrid was 30 when uh, Ronald Reagan was uh, president. Oh, uh, he might have been a little so, older. Uh, there's not too many 30-year-olds that could tell you much anyway. Oh, uh, he might have been a little uh, older. I might say that. Uh, the, the deal is this, though. Even, and I'm going back to, there is no uh, candidate that's going to uh, knock uh, your lordship out. Uh, but here's the key thing. Even his own supporters. Now, uh, I, I know you realize that uh, one of the biggest supporters, and this guy's on TV all over the place, was Tavis Smiley. Yes, the young African-American journalist, TV host. He has abandoned Obama. And he believes that Obama has not done enough for the African-American in the USA. So my point is this. If his biggest supporter, one of his biggest supporters, and is also the African American, uh, has lost hope, what what is the rest of the country thinking? 
Now, l let me just backtrack. Obama. You're talking like, and this is one of the individuals that I think we're going to ban from the, the show and declare a war. You're talking like Laura Ingram, Ingram and uh, what's the guy's name? The big blowhard, the big heavyset guy. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Rush Limbaugh. Uh, just because you said that, actually I heard Rush Limbaugh make an asinine statement saying that the only reason President Obama was elected because he was black. And that was the silliest, the most preposterous oh, remark yeah. I ever heard. You consider the source. You consider the source. Uh, Rush Limbaugh is an idiot on wheels. And so is that Laura Ingram. They can say anything negative to the Democrats. But I'm talking about Mr. Smiley, the Smiley Jack on TV who's waving the Obama flag. And I'm telling you, I realize why, now that I think about it, I realize why Mr. Smiley is so much against the president now versus when the election was going on. It's because President Obama didn't uh, want to invite to the inauguration, and he also didn't come to his little rally. He sent his wife instead. So Mr. Smiley uh, was very, very perturbed that the president didn't show to his little uh, soiree. Well, you know, that, that might be possible, but also I think uh, being on the outside... Uh, I feel that uh, basically this president, President Obama, has done a lot more for the gays and the Latinos than anyone else or any segment of the population. And that's a given fact. And once again, I, I agree with you. Unless, unless the economy goes into a remission and starts getting worse again, that's the only way... This president is not going to be reelected because the candidates just aren't as sharp as they should be. Well, I mean, the that's Republican right. candidates that, so that, that is. I don't see. I think uh, the, the, the person who probably had a good chance shot himself in the foot, but that always happens. And who, who might that have been? Every year. Uh, Rick Perry. Yeah, so, so did I. I thought Rick Perry was going to take it, and uh, he just. He said a couple, well, he wasn't the greatest in the debates, but when he was talking about uh, amnesty, uh, that really, uh, really, really lit the torch. And, and, and Herman Cain's fascination with white women, which is the downfall of most uh, prominent black.